Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So this video today is a follow on video from the, my previous one, which is how to get a realistic nails from your hand dolly. So I'm just gonna do a quick, well, it's not really that quick, <laughs> bandana nail art, which seems to be trending right now. And the color, the base color I'm using is from Glitter Bells and it's called You're Beautiful. So it's one of my favorite colors. My clients absolutely love it. And it's a, it's a kind of a mix between a pink, it's like a pinky violety color. So super pigmented. Um, although I always do two coats just to be on the safe side, just to make sure that there's a full coverage of these nails. And as always, just to keep the length of the video down, um, because I never like them to be too long, I'm going to do the second coat off camera. So I will cure each coat for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. So now that I've um, cured both coats of the Your Beautiful gel polish, I'm gonna go in with a non-white matte top coat. So the one I use is from Halo. And um, for anybody that has watched my videos, especially my regular viewers will know if I'm doing any type of nail art, I always like to do it on a matte surface. So you can also achieve this by um, putting on just your normal top coat and then doing a light buff over will also give you a matte surface. And again, for the matte top coat, I cured it for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. So to do this nail art, I'm using my white um, nail art gel from Mystic Nails, and I'm using the black, I believe it's called Drunk, um, from Model Ones. It's their solid um, cream gel paints. They're amazing. They're super, super highly pigmented, and they literally, where you place them on the nail, they stay, they don't run. So when you're doing hand painted nail art, you're always better to do it with a gel paint rather than a gel polish because a gel polish can sometimes start to spread out a little bit and um, can change the whole, um, you know, finish of your nail art. I'm starting out on the little finger and I'm just doing a little line of these sort of oval shapes. That's gonna be the border of our bandana. And then I'm just filling up the, the space um, towards the free edge of the nail, just with some random designs. And then I will go in with some of the black nail art gel and I'll just highlight them in black. And just going from past experience, I am flash curing that white just before I move on because I have a habit of smudging. So once it's cured, I'm only going to flash cure it for like 10 seconds. And then I'm going to go in with my black nail art gel and I'm just going to do an outline um, where we've done the oval designs. 
or where I've done the awful designs. <laughs> After I've done those outside lines, I'm just going into the little flower and I'm just going to add some black just in the centre of the petals and then I'll go ahead and I'll do the centre of the larger white um, shape and then we'll cure them and that's that nail done. Moving on to the ring finger now and I always prefer to do the little border first and then fill in the space um, that's going to be the bandana. I just for me I find it easier. So again I'm just doing these little oval shapes and I'm just doing um, more like a rectangle shape this time. So once I finish doing the little ovals, I'm going in with my, um, this is a Born Pretty striper brush. I absolutely love it. I think it was like four pounds from AliExpress and it did actually come quite quick. So I'm just using it to do the black lines, which will complete the border. Um, my hands really aren't the most steady, so, um, and the camera never lies, so you can see every flaw. So now that I've done the border, I'm just going to go ahead now and I'm going to infill just that little space, that little rectangle, just with some random designs and I'll add some dots and some more squiggly lines. There's really no set pattern to the designs that you do, you know, on the bandana. There's so many um, ideas that you can get from Instagram and um, Pinterest. So you can go and have a look and kind of take bits and pieces from um, other designs just to create your own.
so on to the middle finger now and this is going to be a full coverage of like the inside of the bandana so there's going to be no border on this one so with i'm doing those little sort of oval shapes i actually don't know what you call them is that a paisley pattern or i'm not too sure um so yeah i'm just doing them slightly larger just to fill out the whole nail And again, I'm doing it all in white and then I'll go in with the black and do some um, outlining and um, some filling in of some of the shapes as well. So I'm going to let you just watch how I finish off the nails and then I'll come back at the end.
And again, the whole way through this video in between, I have flash cured all the nails for like 10 seconds. So onto the index finger now, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm doing a little diagonal um, slice of a bandana. So I'm going in with the little oval shapes, and then I'll outline those with the black. And then I'll fill in just the middle of that stripe with all the little shapes that I've used on the other nails. So in my videos, I like to keep any wee mistakes that I've had. So you can see there, I just went in just a little bit too high and went over the, the little white oval. So I do like to keep them in just to let you see that, you know, I do make mistakes. I'm only human, um, but they're so easily rectified. You can just take them off and start again. If it happens and it's already cured, you can go ahead and just buff it off and then reapply it. Okay, so I'm definitely human and I've made another mistake. So yeah, you can see I just literally rub it out with some acetone and start a game. Finally, I got those borders done. So I'm just gonna flash cure them before I make any more mistakes. And then that way, um, if I do make any mistakes with the white, it's not gonna affect the work I've already done. So I'm going to fill this nail in just using some of the designs that I've used on the other other fingernails and I'm just going to go ahead and let you swatch that and I'll come back at the end.
now that I have all the design finished, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my non-white matte top coat because I think they, they actually look better being finished with a matte finish rather than a gloss. And here is the finished set, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, you could go ahead and do that now. If there's any videos you'd like to see in the future, just pop them in the comments below and I will see you all in the next video. So take care. See you soon. Bye.